Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. And the topic of this blog is AssemblyMate Enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2014. There are two improvements to the SmartMate functionality in 2014. The sensitivity option and better access to the SmartMate tool. So prior to 2014, trying to do a SmartMate over a part like this with many holes in it would cause the part to snap to all the different holes but with the new sensitivity option it will only snap once we pause over the thing that we want to mate to. This is due to the new option under system options in the performance category of smart mate sensitivity. The sensitivity setting is for the alt drag method of smart mating but how many of you knew that we have a smart mate tool as well? Probably not many. That's because it's hidden under the Move tool. We do this smart mate by turning it on and double clicking the first entity we want to mate and then single clicking the next entity to mate. Another nice new enhancement is this lock rotation option for a concentric mate. This adds another mate to stop rotation of a concentric mate such as on this fastener. And now the smart mates is not just hidden under the move command anymore. It can be its own command out in the command manager. The advantage of this method of smart mating is that I can do a view manipulation in the middle of my smart mating. Nice new enhancement. The mate property manager has also gotten some enhancements. It now has a consistent pin in the property manager for consistent behavior with all the other property managers um, property managers in SOLIDWORKS. Another nice new enhancement is when we mate from an axis to a cylindrical face. Prior to 2014 it always defaulted to a coincident mate. Now it's default as a concentric, a more logical choice. We've always had multiple ways to perform mates in SOLIDWORKS. Now we have another new, new method of performing a mate. It's called a quick mate. Quick mates are little tool icons that will show up underneath the context toolbar after selecting two entities to be mated to, such as coincident between the nut in this shaft. This is the quickest and easiest method of doing a mate in SOLIDWORKS. It requires three clicks, selecting one entity, control selecting another, and then picking our mate. Great new enhancement to mating in SOLIDWORKS 2014. There's also multiple ways to access the lock rotation option. For instance, if I select view mates on this nut, I can right click on the concentric mate and lock rotation is right under the right click menu. Also, the lock rotation option does not put an extra mate in the mate folder. Instead, it changes the icon for the concentric mate to indicate that it has that option turned on. We can also select multiple mates in the mate folder and turn on the lock rotation option. As well, we can right click on the mates folder and lock concentric rotation universally or globally for all of our mates. This has been a quick overview of assembly mate enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2014. For more helpful videos like this, subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel and thank you for watching.